guys in this video i'm going to go for post tester guide page six i'm going to release page seven tomorrow so that's it all right so number 37 we have a what is the correct what, or which is the correct graph of f of x equals the square root of x plus two now in your study guide they're all blank graphs um i was doing that because in the future if we were ever to take a post test which i don't know if that will happen now um I would have had those filled out and so but see for this one we're just going to graph it so remember what we talked about when we were doing this is the first thing you should always do if you're lost is make an xy chart so if you're lost that's what you should do first now i recommend this is a radical function so we're going to find a so instead of a vertex we're going to find a starting point remember that's h and k so h and if you guys don't remember it looks kind of looks like this there's an a this time you have a square root instead of and then it's minus h and that's inside the radical plus k is outside the radical and once again remember h is dirty we can't trust that dirty h k is cool we can trust him um, so h in this problem is zero k is two all right so my starting point is going to be zero two that means i cannot pick any negative numbers if i were to pick negative one and there's a good way to know if you could pick a number or not plug it in if I were to plug in negative one into my calculator, I would get domain error on that side. So I couldn't use a negative one even if I wanted to. Now, my recommendation for you with this is that when you go to fill out your XY chart, that all of these should make perfect squares in, inside, the rec, inside the radical. So I want to make perfect numbers inside the radical which is really easy in this one because it, there's nothing going on with h. So I'm going to just do 1 because square root of 1 is nice and easy. I'm going to do 4 because square root of 4 is nice and easy. I'm going to do 9. And I really don't really want to think I need to do any more. If you want to do 16, you totally could do that. You can pick as many points as you want. I would say a good 3 or 4 is probably necessary. Now I'm going to plug 1 in. I'm sorry, 1 in right there. So um, the square root of 1 plus 2 so we have the square root of 1 plus 2. So square root of 1 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3, so this becomes 3. Now I'm going to do the same thing with 4. So I put the square root of 4 plus 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4. I do the square root of 9 plus 2. Like I said, you could pick any number. You could pick 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, I like to pick these so that I don't have anything messy come up. I end up with 5. And then if you really want to do 16, um, square root of 16 is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So I'll break half my points. 0, 2, and we'll put a dot. That's my starting point. Nothing can go to the left of that. All right, 1, 3, dot. 4, so I go over 4, up 4, dot. And then 9, 9 will be up here. We go 5. So it's going to kind of look like this. And that's it. That's it for 37. So for number 38, we have to find the domain and the range of y equals the square root of x minus 3. The domain cannot contain the numbers, or explain why the numbers cannot be between 0 and 3. So, remember, domain is the x values that work. And I think the easiest way to think about that is with h and k, um, with h specifically. So h for this problem would be positive 3. Remember, that's your starting point. So, when you have a starting point, your domain values are always going to be bigger than that. So like the domain is going to be all the x's, so all x values greater than 3. Right? The reason why negative or positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, any number between 0 and 3 would result in imaginary We're just on imaginary numbers, and that's why you cannot use numbers from 0 to 3. Also, anything less than any negative number would automatically be an imaginary number as well. So, domain is all the x values. You can't use anything between 0 and 3. 3 would work, so I don't know why I said that. That's bad. But it has to be like 2.9 would not work, so 3 is actually okay. But 0, 1, and 2 would work. All right. Now, range. Range is like the y value. So range is in re range is kind of referencing the k. So range 
is the y values that work. So it's like what numbers would show up on the y side of the graph. So I would use k. k is 0 in this one. And because the graph is going to go up, it's going to be any your y values. y is going to be greater than 0. Right? Um, there's no number you can plug in for x that's ever going to spit out a negative number. So that's why so you, it's just not possible. And that's why it's not going to work. And that's it for 30. All right, 39 and 40, it's going to finish page 6. And I'm probably only going to get to page 6 in this video. Um, it's going to be PEMDAS backwards. So remember, it's a solve problem, so you're going to use PEMDAS in reverse. All right, so for number 39, we have the cube root of 3x plus 2 minus 7 equals negative 6. All right, so I'm going to use PEMDAS, in backward, PEMDAS backwards. I have subtraction. So I add 7 to both sides to begin with. Now I end up with the cube root of 3x plus 2. This time equals 1. So the next thing I have to do is I have to remember that even though it do, you don't really see it, there's actually parentheses inside there. So when I go through my parentheses backwards, there's parentheses in there. So there is addition, but it's technically inside the parentheses. There's also multiplication technically inside parentheses. So I have to ask, how do I get rid of the radical? Remember, to get rid of a radical, you have to use a square root or a cube root. And, I mean, to get rid of an exponent, you have to use a, a radical. So to get rid of a radical, you actually have to use an exponent. So I'm going to cube both sides. I end up with 3x plus 2 equals 1. Now, I'm, now it's just a normal problem. I minus 1 from both sides. I end up with 3x equals minus 2 from both sides, sorry, equals negative 1. And now I divide by 3x equals negative 1 third. All right? With radicals, you do have to plug that in and make sure it works. All right? um, I do plug it in and it does, it does work just fine. So negative 1 third, I plug it in. So I plug in negative one third right there. I get negative one. Negative three plus two is negative one. So let me double check. So we have the cube root three instead of x. I'm gonna put negative one third plus two minus seven equals negative six. Now I have the cube root, 3 times negative 1 third is negative 1 plus 2, oh, that's where I messed up it when I was doing it in my head, um, e minus 7 equals negative 6, so I end up with the cube root of 1 minus 7 equals negative 6, and that's true, right? so it does work. It is possible that you could plug it in and it does not work, and that is, it just, it, there is no answer then, it's just, there, it's, there's no real solutions, all right? So it is possible you get a false solution, all right? Now, 40 is a little bit different because it's got the greater than, but the idea is still the same. So the first thing I would do for number 40 is I would put square root 7x minus 4. I would make it an equal sign just for what I'm solving, and then I'd put it back in at the end. Um, remember, inside the radical, you can't deal with it yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is square both sides. So I get 7x minus 4 equals 16. I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So I get 7x equals 20. Now I'm divided by 7, so x is equal to 20 over 7. Now remember, it is less than or equal to, so I'm going to put x is less than or equal to um, 20 over 7. Now the other thing we have to remember is that this can never be less than 0. So the other thing we have to know is that 7x minus 4 has to be greater than 0. So I have to add 4 to both sides. 7x is greater than 4. x is also greater than 7 fourths. So there's two answers here. So usually they write it like this. And they say 7 fourths is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 20 over 7. So the reason we had to do that last answer, we had to do this right here, is because you cannot have 0 in the radical. All right, and that's important. And that's going to finish page 7, or page 6. I'll do page 7 tomorrow.